Dwight Howard is an American basketball player with a Hall of Fame type career and an astounding net worth of $140 million. Although that's afforded him a gorgeous main mansion in Atlanta, the man has homes across the board, including one in LA and even Washington. So stay tuned, cause we'll be looking at his luxury living quarters in just a few. Dwight is probably best known for the time he spent playing for the Orlando Magic and leading them to the NBA Finals way back when in 2009. Turkoglu, five of six from the field in that first half. Nice pass to Howard, gets it inside. Lakers a step late on that play. Now over 10 years later, Dwight is finally back in the NBA Finals for the first time since then as a member of the Los Angeles Lakers. When Dwight was still just a teenager, he was recognized as the best high school basketball player in the country, which emboldened him enough to skip the college route and jump directly into the NBA, getting drafted by the Magic in 2004. By the 2008 to 2009 season, Dwight was one of the most decorated players in the entire league, leading his team to the finals. Since since then though, well, things haven't gone quite as smoothly. Dwight grew tired of playing in Orlando and forced to trade to the Los Angeles Lakers to play with Steve Nash and Kobe Bryant. Sadly, that didn't work out either and Dwight began hopping around ever since. A few years with Houston almost worked out until it didn't. Then there was time spent with the Atlanta Hawks, Charlotte Hornets, and finally the Washington Wizards before finally returning to the Los Angeles Lakers this past season to team up with LeBron as the primary big off the bench. What was the biggest factor in leading you back to this franchise? I just think it was divine time. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. The reserve role is a bit of a new one for Dwight, but he's made the most of it, working harder than likely ever has in his career, and curbing his well-documented good humor on the court. While Dwight might have focused on the D to put his best foot forward this season, one look at his current real estate, in particular an amazing home he keeps in Atlanta, Georgia, show that he still knows how to have fun, and lots of it. Dwight's been around a long time now, he's reached the type of success that secured him the bank to own more than one home, which means that besides the crazy awesome state he owns in Atlanta, Atlanta, Dwight also keeps a home in the Tarzana neighborhood of Los Angeles. And he also recently placed the Washington penthouse he lived in as a member of the Wizards on the market as well. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here with a brand new house tour, this one taking a look at the multiple homes of Los Angeles Laker Dwight Howard. If you know anything about Dwight, then you know he's got a personality almost as big as he is, and his homes are a pretty amazing reflection of that. If you like these videos, keep your eye out for some more NBA star homes we just looked at like Jimmy Butler's and fellow Laker Anthony Davis's, and turn on those notifications. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. Howard recently invited reporter Graham Bessinger into his Atlanta home to give him a tour of the 35,000 square foot premises. Yeah, you heard that right, 35,000 square feet. I didn't grow up with a lot, but I, I literally don't take anything for granted and I enjoy every single moment, no matter what it is. Dwight picked up this home a few years ago for $8.8 .8 when playing for the Atlanta Hawks, and the place is so nice that I just can't imagine him ever wanting to give it up. I mean, where do we even start? How about the gigantic 14-car garage, which just so happens to house Dwight's purple Thanos-inspired Rolls Royce? Purple car because of Thanos ah. from the Avengers. Yeah, he's my favorite character. He was able to understand that in order for him to complete his mission, he had to get rid of his emotions. He got the purple interior too. Yeah. If you listen closely to what Dwight is saying in that clip, I think he's pulling from personal experience because that's definitely what he's done this past season. Transforming his game and exercising many of his emotions to get the absolute best out of himself. But getting back to the house, if you think having a garage big enough for that many cars is overkill, just wait Wait until you hear how many kitchens this place has got. Five. The place has five kitchens. What does someone even do with five kitchens? Dwight also got three laundry rooms, but hey, the guy's an athlete, which means he probably creates a lot of dirty laundry. I mean, I guess he must eat a whole lot too, but still, five kitchens? I just can't get over that. And I'm not the only one. As a man with a whole bunch of personality, it shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that Dwight has filled his home with memorabilia of all his favorite things. We're talking framed photos of superheroes and even a pair of the original Nikes from Back to the Future. He's also got a whole sports treasury where he keeps autographed shirts and other collectibles from his favorite athletes. And no baller's home would be complete without their own court, or in Dwight's case, half court, located just outside for easy access to get those reps in. Before we move on to check out his LA home, there's one last feature of his Atlanta estate to show you guys. What are you going to do with a 25 foot, 200 pound anaconda? The same thing they do. Nothing. 
<laughs> yep, that's Dwight with his huge collection of exotic snakes. You had me with the Thanos car and all the movie memorabilia, but you've lost me here, Dwight. Remind me again, how many times have you been bitten? I've only been bitten three times. Yeah, is there like a scar? Yeah. Wait, let's see. That's no joke. That's a real bite. It didn't even hurt. That's three times too many as far as I'm concerned. All right, now let's take a look at his home in the LA neighborhood of Tarzana. Dwight picked up this little gem without a whole lot of fanfare back in 2017, and records show he paid $1.75 million for it. Tucked behind a white picket fence, this updated 1950s traditional style home has picturesque windows that look out onto dazzling garden views. The interior of the home features a modern kitchen with state-of-the-art appliances and a marble center island. Down a hall just off the side of the kitchen is Dwight's very own home theater with red velvet curtains, reclining chairs, and everything. With the close proximity to the kitchen, fetching a mid-movie snack is about as easy as it gets. Only a stone's throw away from there is a living room and family room located on the main floor of this 4,200 square foot home, featuring cream-colored walls and elegant furniture. French doors open from the living room into a covered patio for outdoor entertaining, while hedges and bamboo surround an oval-shaped swimming pool with an accompanying grotto-style spa. Meanwhile, upstairs are six bedrooms, some of which are very kid-friendly, along with accompanying ensuite bathrooms. Sounds like a pretty nice place, right? And while I can't vouch for this with 100% certainty, my best guess is that this is where Dwight lives whenever he's in town as a member of the Lakers. Alright, let's take a look at Dwight's last home, a spectacular penthouse in Washington, D.C. After making the move to the Lakers, Dwight decided to let go of this sprawling D.C. penthouse, placing it on the market for close to $2.5 million. This 10,123 square foot apartment is more than double the size of Dwight's house in Los Angeles and occupies the top two floors of the historic Pierce School building, a former schoolhouse that was built in 1893 and then converted into nine residential units in 2012. Many of the school's original features including chalkboards, lockers and cubby spaces were retained and incorporated into the penthouse's design in an extremely fun and inventive way by German designer Adolf Kluss. The interior features exposed brick, clean white walls, and dark polished hardwood floors, while the centerpiece is most definitely the two-story lofted great room, which features an exposed brick fireplace, an original stained glass window from the school that has been transformed into an art piece, and a wet bar alongside a set of industrial looking stairs with glass railings that lead on up to the second floor. Up there you can find a total of four bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, while the master suite is actually located back down on the main floor and features a massive closet hidden behind a huge wall behind the bed. The ensuite bathroom features two separate vanities and a marble steam shower with a custom fish tank. An understated living room and dining room combo that feature high ceilings and blackboards along the walls is another highlight of this astounding home. Speaking of highlights, the kitchen boasts a whole ton of natural light along with industrial grade stainless steel appliances accompanied by a 20 foot long marble topped center island and counter seating. Finally, one last room worth taking a look at is the massage room on the upper floor that Dwight had installed himself. I don't know about you guys, but to me, that looks to me about the most relaxing room in the entire world. I think we'll bring this video to an end here. What did you guys think of Dwight's impressive home? If you could have your choice of living in any one of Dwight's places, which would it be? If you're anything like me, it's probably that Washington penthouse. It's got everything you need and nothing you don't, unlike his Atlanta home. I'm sorry, but I still can't wrap my head around having five kitchens in one home and snakes. All right, guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.